Wow. Oh, she is uh, not hiding how she feels, and she shouldn't. Um, <laughs> clear, like, what this song is saying as well. Uh, do not ever hide how one is feeling, how you're feeling. Let it be known. Thank you so much to everyone who has been enjoying our cover releases over the past few years. Myself and Ian have just released our second covers album. It is called Layers Best of 2023 as it features 10 cover songs, seven of which were our favourites and your favourites of our 2023 uploads, plus three unreleased songs. You'll only be able to hear these unreleased songs if you purchase the album, which can be found over on my Bandcamp page. The link to my Bandcamp page can be found in the description below. Thank you so much to everyone who has purchased the album and has listened to our tracks. We appreciate it very, very much. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, but you can call me Jen. I'm a singer and a voice teacher, and today I am welcoming a new artist over on my page but not a new artist for everyone she actually won six awards at the brit awards this year which is absolutely insane yes i am talking about the one and only ray i will actually be reacting to and analyzing her brit awards 2024 medley performance i have heard a little bit of her song escapism but i'm not familiar with the other two which uh, Ice Cream Man and Prada, so I'm excited to hear this medley. As always though, this is a reaction and an analysis video, so I will be stopping and talking about the vocals. If you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted, I've left the link in the description below, so do go and check it out. If you find yourself enjoying my content as you're watching this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button as it does help out the channel a lot. I've also left the link to my Patreon page in the description below, so do go and check me out over there. And you can also find a link to a GoFundMe page. That is all going towards the making of my original debut album which is coming later this year if you haven't yet listened to voice of my own or i'm not a fan do go ahead and do so they are on all major streaming platforms but yes the full album will be coming soon right let's get to the main part of the video so this producer hit me up on a dm he told me hey i really like what you are doing he told me come round to the studio let's cook it he told me come to catch a vibe and make some music but when i got there should have heard what he was saying Trying to touch me, trying to me, I'm not playing. I should have left that place as soon as I walked in it. How God. Okay, well, I need to go right back to the beginning. I absolutely love how conversational this is. This literally feels like um, a passage from like a, a journal, a diary. I love it. And because she's very conversational with it, we are getting great vocal fold closure because it's you know it's it's very close to where she speaks i've not heard her speak but it feels like da 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 da, -da. this is what happened yada 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 like it's just so um it's just it's as if she's talking it's so conversational we're getting elements of vocal fry in there as well little, uh that kind of um vocal fry uh, approach to the notes i i'm always so impressed when uh an artist you know it's um has do I say bad language? I don't know. But when they have to edit it out live, like that must be so tricky to do because you want to say what's originally written, but you have to keep it, you know, um, what, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Keep it clean. <laughs> anyway, that's really cool. Let's go. So this producer hit me up on a DM. He told me, hey, I really like what you are doing. He told me, come round to the studio, let's cook it. He told me come to catch a vibe and make some music. Like da 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 It's all around here as well. It's very close. She's very close to the mic as well. I love how it's very empty on the piano. We're just really hearing everything. That's pretty tricky. Even though I've just said it's uh, very spoken-like, to maintain that pitch whilst not having too much of backing, that's one thing. So it's quite a cappella-esque in that element. So keeping that up. But also not dipping in pitch as well. It's just da 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 hovering on those two notes. That's actually more challenging than one might realize. What's also nice as well is we're getting a bright ping sound, but every so often it kind of shifts a little bit back as we open up that sound. Da 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 da. Like it gets as I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but we get a little bit of that open kind of hug feel and cook it. That's so, I love how punchy it is. She's not holding on to any words there. It's very, well, it is conversational because sometimes we do maybe not necessarily hold on to words like that but we don't talk um in equal phrases every time so I love how well like I just did I took a massive long pause but <laughs> so I love I love how she's incorporated that within this he told me come round to the studio let's cook it he told me come to catch a vibe and make some music I love how spread when vibe is 
trying to touch me, trying to me, I'm not playing. I should have well, that you know, if you can kind of put two and two as to what word that is right there. Um I wonder I don't know much about Ray's story, so I wonder who she is actually talking about. Um, there's subtle vibrato right at the bottom, which is really warm and inviting. Look, we're 20 seconds in. There's so much happening already, and it's already building up to be at a very exciting performance. So let's keep going. But when I got there, should have heard what he was saying. Mm. Trying to touch me, like it hovers there. Me, I'm not playing. I should have left that place as soon as I walked in it. How goddamn dare you do that to me, really? Oh, <laughs> that control on that lovely ow vowel, man. And then getting such a dynamically quiet choice on that last, like, closed mm. I think she does close on that mm. mm. Oh, we just hear it hover. That's so delicate and precious. I love that. But we're still, even though it's got this like direct conversational speak, every so often we go onto this rounded warmth sound. So I love how she's swapping between the two, keeping us on our toes. Um, some glottal onsets here as well. The ice cream, uh, uh, uh. we get that uh-oh feel. There's lots of lovely things happening in this live performance, Brit Awards. I wonder... Um, I know I didn't watch the Brit Awards, but I watched some performances and obviously I'm watching this one for the first time now. Um, but I wonder if at this point, had she already won some awards? Had she had she won all of them and then she performed? Or was just, was she one of the earlier performers uh, of the evening? Just the emotions running through. And how I pay the price now. Now nah, as well. So everything you did, it left me in a ruin. And no, I didn't say a word. I guess that proves it. I won't run. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, it just feels so natural as well. All these ad libs. Mm, yes, I am. It just feels like she is in her own little world singing. Obviously, we're all just intently watching. Listen to how quiet the. Uh, obviously, these can all be all things that are added after, edited out, or whatnot. But it just seems like we're invited to her world. She's letting us kind of come into this story chapter of her life um uh, she's straight on the vibrato as well which is really lovely she's not lingering too much on straight tones as soon as she hits a longer note straight on that vibrato and I'll be damned if I let a man ruin how I walk, how I talk, how I do it. Man, I've been broken for a moment, I've been suing. No, it's even harder to be brave alone. I was a girl, now I'm grown, now I'm a woman. Wow. Oh, she is uh, not hiding how she feels, and she shouldn't. Um, <laughs> clear like what this song is saying as well uh, do not ever hide how one is feeling how you're feeling let it be known <laughs> um, I love like even within this the ah, when she jumps up there it's very breath led she's letting those vocal folds where they have been really connected previously now she's throwing lots of breath through the vocal folds not closing them all the way with the um, the closure while they're vibrating to create the tone setting lots of breath there but then also when she list, does that list like woman, da, 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 when she's listing that, it's very broken and spoken like again. So she's going from a sing-songy legato feel where all the notes are connected. God, we're literally just hit a minute now and I'm talking and about so much because there is so much to talk about. <laughs> I love this. Cause I'm a woman of faith, brave, strong. And the dynamics here. And I'll be damned if I let a man ruin. So delicate. That part's fine. I've been broken for a moment, I've been suing, no. Actually, yeah, just to talk about that one more time. How I walk, how I talk. I love how they're one syllable words as well because it just makes it more punchy and you can really attack them. But she's not attacking them with volume. It's like very, the diction is so great. We can hear everything, the enunciation. She's attacking it by complete the completion of words, not letting it float back and being a bit breathy there specifically. Which can trust this part how I talk how I do it man I've been broken for a moment I've been suing and even that emptiness with the piano to be brave alone I was a girl now I'm grown 
I'm a woman, a very strong woman. Mm -hmm. I, I, I even hear, sorry, just it's, that was like she was just speaking, a very strong woman. And like, then we hear all the yes from the audience. I'm loving this. I've been so it no, it's even harder to be brave alone. I was a girl. Uh, there's a bit of a bluesy note there. I love that. A very strong woman. Love the lights. Explain why I'm silently blaming myself because I put on these faces, pretending I'm fine. And then I go to the bathroom and I press rewind in my head. Always going round and round in my head. Your fingerprints stuck a stain on my skin. You made me frame myself for your sin. You pathetic, dead excuse. I'm a man. Oh, wow. I love how she had how she held that as she moved position to stand up she could have kept that near the mic that was so cool and interesting i love how she's actually here it was, it was the, the most spoken like we felt having elements of that uh, a, a rap in there as well so i love how she's it's so fluid and going from that spoken like straight into it then we're singing a little uh, into the singing section of this section of the song such control such great awareness of what her voice can do and what she wants to showcase within her voice i and i already I, we're just in the i think we're going into the second song now but i already want to know more and i am so happy that she won all these awards <laughs> i am hooked Pathetic, dead excuse. I'm a man. i love that flip there as well that's so cool. That little run. Oh, wow. Feel like I'm in Prince's house. Purple paint on the walls. Sitting down on this fancy couch. And I can't see straight. I'm a stay. 22, I'm in Paris. Baby, go strippers in my face. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the vocal choices and uh, range to this woman, this uh, wonderful artist. Wow. Um, that she is now just showcasing completely different feel. I love that we've got the ensemble choir feel behind her as well. But yeah, we start, we still got this like spoken like attack of a voice here, a little bit higher than where she was just previously and where she would want to talk. But it's, it helps with that extension of the speech like quality as she's stretching up her thicker folds, uh, you know, to that upper part of her chest voice. I love that she starts up with that. Those lyrics are so good. Sitting down on this fancy couch and I can't see straight on my stay. Another thing I just want to say is well, I love that she is using singing in her own accent. It's so easy. I get this question all the time. Like, why do um not just British singers, but why do do people end up singing a bit more with an American Americanized vowel placement? There's lots of different reasons we it's what our ear is used to maybe what we've grown up to as well but it's a naturally a much more brighter sound so we can play around with that a lot more rather than like the dark vowels of say the english british accent um but i love that she is really that's part of her signature sound so i just personally i love that <laughs> listen to this sorry those harmonies 22 and then, is she actually 22 now because um don't make me cry <laughs> she is a uh, born in 97 well i am so excited for the rest of your journey and to now be fully invested <laughs> in this i love the ah uh, ah uh, kind of uh, closure of the phrases in these as well but yeah -da 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 -da. I love the harmonies that come in there as she ascends and then as we go to this next part go a little bit lighter a bit more of a thinner falsetto quality here I said falsetto, actually, this is a very pure, clear uh, head voice. Falsetto is when we are really becoming breathy up there and we can actually bring the falsetto down. Doesn't have to necessarily be in our head voice. Um, but yeah, she's actually maintaining really lovely and clear, getting great vocal fold closure there, getting the 
the fullest amount of connection that we can to create these clean, clear lines up there. I mean, what can't her voice do at the moment? She's showcasing so much, which is wonderful. I love how she's up there doing these lovely dark brows. There's a bit of a head movement as she's kind of riffing around. And then she grabs hold of a thick fold as she's coming down as well. I mean, I love. <laughs> Okay, in the space of like five seconds, we had a little bit of grit in the vocal folds. Then we went to a pure dark operatic head voice sound again, soprano land, hello. Just by before hitting these, you know, this grit happens around our false vocal folds, just above our vocal folds. So we're not actually making any contact there. So even though it sounds like what, we're not actually affecting anything um, within the full, true vocal folds, which is why when they connected, beautiful. Mm. <laughs> then we get one of these right at the end. And not only are we beautifully up in our head voice, we're also coming off and on within that vocal uh, passage uh, mo um, uh, phrase up there, that head voice, beautiful, soft phrase. We are getting glottal or smooth onsets there as well, but we're coming off and then attacking, landing on the pitch as she's jumping around. Like it's not like a full legato sound. It's kind of staccato-esque at times. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. But Aspirants actually. Ooh. Ooh, I love this chant. Oh, I love, look at this wonderful choir as well, how they're just freely moving. Um, you know, it's 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 such a joy to see uh, and the confidence that this woman has right in the front. I love all these hand movements and her, like, it, it's like, hmm, how should we move in this section? Just feel it and go with it. The use, the balance of like the lead singer and the choir ensemble, like call and response, feel to it it's so great and i love how this sits a little bit lower again now within her voice Are we going into jazz scat singing now? I mean, there must be more songs than these three. Um, is it, does it say it anywhere? Oh no, maybe it is just these three. I definitely need to know more. I love that uh, warm hug of a feel with the uh, ensemble there as well. This is just, <laughs> I'm enjoying this, right? Where are we going now? This part. Right, sorry, I'm sorry. I love how she's getting such a contemporary feel with this kind of golden age classical uh, jazz swing feel. Um, she's right up close when she's scatting, which I love. Diamonds, there was a slight bit of uh, grit in there as well. Diamonds as well, we're not diamonds. We're not going through that dip thumb, keeping open. Look how much she's like showcasing us. I just, this is, uh, this is wonderful. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Sorry, the, the vibrato there was a, definitely a lot more wider than, than before. Kind of, uh, you know, really leaning into that vintage swing feel. I absolutely love anyone that tests and pushes music to <laughs> see what they're going to come up with. Bring us something new. Why sound like someone else? I love that there is a blend and a, a crossover between genres. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no two sections. I have that could have all been one song. I need to know more. <laughs> myself in a position the man that i love sat me down last night and he told me that it's over mm, and i don't want to feel how my heart is ripping in fact i don't want to feel so i stick to sipping and i'm out on a town with a simple mission in my little black dress and it's, it's just a heart roll. I love how she kind of really emphasizes certain words on this and like using like the hits of the arms as well. Oh, just that whole overall feel again, very conversational, returning back to that kind of similar to the beginning. That is over. Mm, and I don't want to feel how my heart is ripping. In fact, I don't want to feel so I stick to simple. <laughs> Sorry, just that line. Listen to how much she's actually driving the emotion and the laughter throughout that. It's not about sounding, she's got a wonderful musical vocal instrument there as well. So she, uh, which she has will continue hopefully you know you just continue growing and strengthening and she's really worked at that you can just she just knows where she needs to go that she can really allow the voice to be whatever the voice wants to be and kind of lean into that storytelling which is why i love it that she can like laugh onto the notes mm, and i don't want to feel how my heart is ripping in fact i don't want to feel so i stick to sipping and i'm out on a town with a simple mission in my little black dress and it's, it's just a heart roll Oh, I love how she, when she felt she kind of breaks that like just she did there she broke that it wasn't just she wasn't on voice for that full word ah, ah, ah. she could have gone ah right but she's going eh, eh, eh. she that's she does that a lot um and breaks and kind of uh goes in either aspirately or onset uh glottal onset sorry as she kind of eh, 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 falls down but what's really nice is while she's kind of maintaining this thicker speech like quality in this upper part of her register she's now also going into this really lovely warm vibrato so putting those two elements together it's just something so magical and unique i love it that grit so light. Gosh, I love this. Uh, where does she get up there? D5 up there on this lovely open sound. So she's, you know, even though sometimes she's been like really uh, close and small to the, uh, to the mic, now she's ah, like really lovely big drop of the mouth, lovely chest dominant connection belt there. It seems so effortless and easy as we're watching this, but she's doing so much gymnastics with her voice, really stretching it, really throwing lots of different... Um, tools and qualities to create and it's just it's so wonderful i feel like i can talk about this way more um but let's just enjoy it but i love how close she is with the mic i love that descent hall. Like she's literally just gone into this beautiful classical um, thin quality voice going up beautifully into a head voice, head dominant sound. And then, hey, she's like <laughs> back into this chest shout like it's their fast changes within the voice. And it's like she's just kind of having fun, but she's worked through that passage so much in order for it to get to the stage where she is now. Obviously some, you know, we all start at different levels, but if you're singing along and wanting to do the same thing and you're like, gosh, how's she, ah, ah, break it down, go slowly with it, kind of go over these uh, areas, especially this is like going straight through a first passage. This is so much fun. She grabs hold of that chest voice as she comes down. How I did last. Oh, so much 
joy. <laughs> wow. What a wonderful, um, let me just let's, let's listen to that again. Oh, like a lovely ascending glissando. These are one of my favorite things to do. Um, I first started playing around with this a few years ago and now I'm like, it needs, I need more of these. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, she starts off like on this ore placement, which she actually takes up with her. Then she kind of spreads a little bit, not too much as she's stretching out here, but like spreads so she's in a comfortable place clearly she is because she's just like here and then I think as she goes higher she actually comes down with her body so she's really leaning into that lifting up that soft palate getting the most of the space that she has inside to activate all these anchoring points to keep this long note like she's holding on to it for a long time as she goes into this chest dominant mix as she's you know still ascending there's still another switch right at the very end while still maintaining a full, full sound. If we didn't know, we'd feel like it's the same consistent sound, but she is going through because she has to as she's ascending. The vocal folds are naturally thinning. Oh, but it's still such a full sound, hence why she's mixed belting <laughs> at the top. Eh? That's where she changes. I really relies on that twang. And then I love I love oh. Okay, I wanna go listen to more. So um that's where I'm going. <laughs> That was truly amazing. Um, I didn't really know what I was kind of in for. Like I said, I, I heard a little bit of escapism um, and maybe it's just sometimes when you hear a live performance, you can uh, really, you hear it without the production side of things, maybe because they change things up instrument. I mean, I think I saw in the comments here, um, let me just go. Uh, the orchestra version of Prada is something that I didn't know I needed. So I want to hear what the a recorded version of Prada is to see that you know everyone likes different things but I really really loved the amount she showcased with her voice in this insane well I just want to say thank you for still being here and watching this video if you did enjoy it please go ahead and hit that subscribe button the bell button and the thumbs up button remember you can purchase the our second covers album the layers best of 2023 over on Bandcamp and our debut original album will be coming very soon so keep your eyes peeled have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you very soon for another video bye